Hey guys, it's RC. I am back and we're going to do a new Let's Play. Uh, I've got several of these going at any one time. Um, especially with these sports sims because they're, they're fun and they're easy and I play them a lot. So um, I had done kind of a walkthrough uh, video series and that's actually in the process of going up. So some of this will appear to be duplicate, but this is actually going to be one that we're going to try to play out a career and see what happens. Um, I've started a new league. Um, I, again, I have the real world mod, which you have to install prior to starting your league. It will not overwrite a saved league. So just a heads up for that. I've kind of taken the same philosophy uh, for my coach basically he was a player went to the NBA or Europe or you know gave professional basketball a shot for a couple of years realized he wasn't going to make it came back to college as a grad assistant slash assistant coach <clears throat> did that for a few years built up a little bit of experience and uh, has now struck out on his own to make his mark in the basketball world. So trying to follow that timeline, graduating college at 21 as a senior, naturally he was not an NBA All-Star, so he was not a one-and-done guy, which, by the way, I've got that turned off in this universe. Uh, then, a few, you know, three or four years playing, and then four years coaching, puts us around 30 years old. So we're a relatively young coach. Uh, and here's my settings. I used custom. Uh, so my current skills are right in this range. Uh, basically as an assistant, we spend a lot more time scouting and recruiting and uh, developing players rather than focusing on concepts. So skills are lagging a little bit behind there. And you know, the good thing is you can divide these up however you want. Um, probably for a, a real new coach, these are probably a little high, but you know, I wanted to give myself a shot. <laughs> so um, we're going to play just slightly over the uh, normal pace, just on the a tinge to the fast side. Uh, crash boards is left alone. Player preference is left alone. I did mention that uh, in, in my uh, walkthrough video that I did not understand this one. Okay, so um, I also mentioned that one of the guys was going to send me the manual for uh, the 2016 version of this game. And in the manual, what it says is um, a veteran may be a better player uh, you know he may understand the system uh, whereas the youth may have just more raw talent uh, he'll be more inconsistent maybe but he may have flashes of brilliance that the veteran just can't touch uh, and you see that sometimes in the in the one and done kids uh, and they but they play those one and dones over you know the freshmen over juniors and seniors because of that raw talent so that is what this means are you gonna really go with your your young kids if they're that good are you gonna go with your veterans no matter what how good how raw the the young kids might be I'm gonna stick with a mix now that I kind of understand that uh, player rotation I'm a tick to the deep bench side I like to have a couple of players that I rotate uh, full court defense, I'm going to go to a, a tick towards never. Uh, everything, uh, cra defensive crash boards, I went a one tick towards always. And that is, uh, everything else right in here is, is right where it was as default. Um, as far as the upside, uh, basically uh, they're all in the mid to high 90s. I did not put 100 into anything. Uh, offense because it's the lowest starting it's also the lowest uh, potential rating uh, that I put in and again I used custom here um, so 
and then I also used uh, sort of some real life. I actually know the uh, women's basketball coach at Sam Houston State. Uh, so uh, in my make-believe universe here, uh, I was looking for a job. So I reached out to her as the women's basketball coach at the University of Sam, uh, Sam Houston State University. Turned out they were looking for a coach, and she put in a good word for me and got me an interview, and I got hired. So that's uh, that's the backstory. Uh, yeah, just you know, that's all make believe, and you don't have to do that in the game. But that's that's how I ended up at Sam Houston. Now my uh, dream job is Michigan, so I have uh, a below average reputation as a new coach. Uh, that's why I'm also starting at a lower school. Now, I did step up a little bit because their prestige is a tad higher. Uh, well, uh, it's about a 15, so uh, significantly higher than uh, Houston Baptist, who I uh, was playing with in the uh, walkthrough video. Uh, so for a career, I thought that was still an, a reasonable uh, level to start off at. Um, high ambition, shooting for a job in the Big Ten uh, at Michigan. Uh, academics, average. Uh, I was going to go low, but then I was reading in the manual about it, and um, that can influence some of your recruits. So I don't want to put everything super high. Uh, discipline, I'm going to go low. Temper, average. Integrity, I went very high. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. So let's check out our emails. We need to buy our reports, a scheduling notice, our budget, and the welcome. So first off, I'm going to delete all of these. We've already kind of walked through that. Now, one thing I learned in doing my walkthrough and then kind of evaluating how that went is... We've got a $91,000 budget. You want to have about $40,000 left over for recruiting after you buy everything. Um, and evidently, if you do not spend all your money, they'll basically cut your budget the next year. So it behooves you to spend everything. Um, and I had bought the basic edition, but the Gold Star edition that includes additional information, uh, star ratings, top school preferences, uh, so a little bit of information that is going to be helpful. So I'm going to buy that. That's $30,000. Now don't forget, after this we also have to do um, camps and whatnot. And this is the budget that's left over after your assistant coaches. So we actually start with assistant coaches in year one. In year two, I may hire different coaches, which could inc you know, give me more money here or possibly less money if I buy better, uh, if I hire better assistants. So this will drop us down to 61. And I think that's good, you know, as as a 15 prestige school, I'm not going to be recruiting nationally. Uh, I, I'm going to basically be dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, guys in this area. Now, what I might do, I don't know that New Mexico is a recruiting hotbed, but I might buy the West Report, because remember, we're going to have an easier time recruiting close to home. So, I don't know, I could buy the Basic Edition. I don't, you know, I'm not going to recruit heavily there, but maybe I'll buy that. So we'll do that. We'll buy those two, and we'll advance. You have new mail. All right, summer travel schedule. All right, this is where we are going to decide where we, go, we are going to attend camps. Well, we're going to attend the Great Plains in Houston. Uh, Sam Houston State is located in Huntsville. 
which is ironically enough the location of the state uh, prison uh, and that is uh, north north northwest of Houston about an hour and a half hour and a half away uh, from North Houston, about two, two and a half hours away from uh, Central and South Houston. Uh, if you've never been to Houston, uh, it's it's uh, it's a very sprawling city. The the city limits of Houston actually are as big as the state of Connecticut. Just to give you an idea. Uh, so it's pretty big. <laughs> it takes a while to drive across town. Uh, so okay, we're gonna go with that. I don't think we're we're not gonna we're not gonna have a shot at recruiting the elite players, so we're not gonna go there. Now, I mean, still a, a hundred of the top players. I don't know that we're gonna have a shot to get any of them either, but uh, be that what it is. So, I, you know, two thousand dollars because it's in the region, forty six hundred dollars for out of region. Um, so this will drop us down to 54 and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and attend that West Camp as well I am buying the the uh, basic book for that area so we'll go ahead and buy, uh, attend that camp too you have new mail all right so we have a test score of 880 all right so that's an important figure for us um, again I don't know exactly what that correlates to but we'll get a feel for that at some point I suppose after you know after we see players you know is, is that a 2.1 is that a 2.4 GPA you know kind of you know and just because you have a, a, a the G, a good uh, GPA doesn't mean you're going to do well on the test and vice versa. You could have a great GPA and really bomb on the test, I suppose. Um, but an 880, so that is one thing we have to worry about. All right, so although an 880 isn't bad, I mean, that's actually a relatively low score, um, all things considered. All right, so we're going to go into the recruiting screen here. Uh, I do like the way they do the pop-up. We'll try to do, you know, this will be some tutorial uh, as well as in the Let's Play. I mean, you'll be able to see how I'm doing things. And, and this is how I like to do the tutorials. And then um, possibly what I'll do is if there's anything particular that people want to see, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll try to address those in a separate video. Um, you know, if there's anything specialized that you want to see. Um, so they do have the pop-up here uh, if you're not seeing any players which we're not because this box is in the way uh, unclick the you're watching and we also want to unclick the um, quick list the this quick recruiting uh, and what that is is it's a feature that basically allows you to do a lot of things from the from the same screen uh, but you can't do everything so uh, you know it's it's it might be a good way you could filter players and add them to your call list but um, otherwise you have to double click on each player open their player card and you can see down here I've got this book highlighted this is the gold book so I can click on that and you notice everybody's in the Great Plains, which is the green area. And these are the guys that are in the book. So this is the guys that I have information on. So I can open him, and here you see the difference between the gold book and the basic book is I can see his top ten schools. And that's the biggest thing right now. Okay? Uh, so... I find that helpful now even with the let's go out to the West region because I bought the basic book right so here with the basic book I cannot see the top 10 
but if my team is in that group and actually nobody is interested in my program in that region so probably a waste of money <laughs> uh, and that's okay so here we go let's take a look now you know of course because I have the book it's going to be there but here you go so Sam Houston State number seven if I had somebody that was interested with the two pluses in the West region that's what I would see it would be all the question marks except for number seven would say Sam Houston State or number four number one or whatever um, so there is some interest here um, and I can see the teams that he is considering so it helps me figure out whether to go after this guy whether to stay off of this guy uh, whatever the case may be um, now he has a he has a good interest in me so basically the options are a minus sign is no interest in you whatsoever a plus sign will look is considered low interest the double plus sign is considered some interest and then a three plus sign is considered high interest so very self-explanatory you know the more pluses the better for you and you know as a as a high prestige school you'll probably have a lot of kids that are three pluses right from day one uh, what we've got to do as a low prestige school is we've got to kind of go through these guys now what this does for me if you look so the OV rating is their overall rating so notice this ward guy 162 if we come over here 162 is his regional rating okay now he's rated 1097 nationally this is something else the magazine is that thirty thousand dollar gold star book that's the, the information it gives in this white section the gold section you will always see okay this is a, basically a national recruiting service that everybody has access to I kind of picture like uh, you know if you're into the NFL uh, kind of like Mel Kuyper with ESPN the draft specialist you know and he puts out his big board uh, and ranks players that's kind of what this is uh, so everybody can see that um, and and it gives you an idea at least of what you're looking at so this guy's ranked 1097 Reed is ranked 1643 1036 and 1458 so basically in the thousand to 1500 range is the guys that have any interest whatsoever so if I sort by OV right am I gonna get the number five player well he's number five and he's number 30 in the nation well no I'm not gonna get that guy uh, so it gives me an idea of where to start okay so we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to the well let's see hold on what was the guy that was interested right there all right there's my top guy right there okay so he's number 159 now that's in the region okay so this is the regional um, if I clicked on Great Plains alright I want to remember this guy so read 1643 let's just click on Great Plains and update that All right, now you can see that we have a much longer list. Well, here's Reed at 1643. So because I have picked the the, re the whole region, it gives me that OVR from the gold side, from the national ranking, okay? If I'm going by the, gr the book here, 
then it is giving me the rating, the overall rating from the white column. So that's the difference in why I'm seeing different numbers. So just a heads up, and that's, you know, that's like I said, some things I will kind of delve into uh, as a tutorial type thing. So, so that's what the, the different OV ratings are, but it's, it's basically a rating system. So because we're down in here, we're looking at 159 to 200. Okay, so we're going to sort this out, and I'm going to come down to 159, and I'm going to go ahead, and here's a shortcut. On your keyboard, you can actually hit the letter B. Well, it's supposed to work. No, nope, that is not working. Okay, so that was something that actually worked in previous versions. Evidently, it does not work here. That's okay, but we're going to click Add to Both. Sometimes I did notice that on your first player, in fact, let's try this again. All right, so there's Reed. Let's just click on Peterson. You can see that the Add to Both is grayed out. Now watch, I'm going to go down or up and then back and now it's highlighted for some reason it is not opening up only on the first player that you click on but as you go through the list uh, then you can click there we're gonna do that yeah now there's supposed to be keyboard shortcuts I don't know why they're not working uh, but that's what it is and you know the other thing I need to do here so let's back up just a little bit All right, where is Reed? There he is. All right, so Reed, you can see we are number 10. All right, this guy, we are not listed. He's out of Colorado. Now, you are going to have a better chance to recruit closer to home. So one thing you might want to do at a low prestige school is search by state. Okay, and then that gets us there, and this gives us a completely different ranking. Okay, so now we're looking at that 1097 again, which is the national ranking. Okay, so just you know that that's kind of what we're looking at. So, but this only sorts out by state. So again, you click on the map, it will give you, a, you know, different states. We'll click on that. We're going to sort by OVR. We're going to go down to our first guy, which is somewhere. Bell. Oh, there's Reed. Okay, so he's farther down. So we want to start up around Ward at 1097. So let's click on him. Again, you see it's grayed out, so we can we can just he's already added, so uh, we're gonna go there. Now we are ranked number seven with him. Now he's in Texas, but we're not in his top ten, so I'm gonna pass on him. He is grayed out. You see all the question marks. What's the reason for that? Because we're looking at the state and he is not one of the top 200 players in the state. So you remember that $30,000 book only covers the top 200 players. So we'll have this information for some people, but not everybody. But we're going to go ahead and add him and, you know, take a shot at him. All right. Not on this list. And he's actually looking at some schools outside the state. Um... So I'm going to pass on him. Now, Texas Rio Grande Valley, I'm going to go ahead and call him. Just, you know, 
And I did find out in the uh, manual that there is, and we did confirm that in uh, the walkthrough video, that there is a cap of 50 players. So you're going to want to, as you you know, as you add to this, you're going to want to delete all the people that you know you don't um, have any shot of, or that you, you know that you're not going to be recruiting. Now Texas A&M, Texas, but then he has Incarnate Word and Texas State. So is this a guy that has high aspirations, but? is really understanding that he's probably going to have to settle for somebody so here's the thing just because they're not in the top 10 you can add them and maybe get them interested in you at some point okay um, that's something to consider now I've kind of gotten ahead of myself so let's back up here and let's first off I want to make sure you always want to hit the people that are interested in you first okay so there's a guy right there he's got low interest I want to add him okay now I'm gonna go back and add some more people but what I want to do is because these guys are interested I want to go ahead and hit these guys up with the max that I can do for this week now I only have three hosting opportunities so I'll have to do him another week but I can certainly watch film on him watching film will start to give us rating information the more film that I watch the more dialed in I will get here and this is related to your scouting ability and your coaches scouting ability okay and Let's look at, uh, while we're talking about that, let's go to, rot uh, it's not rotation, staff. Okay, so again, I did not hire these guys. They came with, with me. So now you can fire them. You can promote them if, if you have an opening. Um... He's my recruiting guy. He's got a recruiting of 27, so he is my best recruiter. He is my scout, scouting of 22. Well, my first assistant is also my best scout. I guess that the recruiting is your top position, so if you would want to make him your scout in charge of scouting you'd have to demote him now the only way to de demote him is if there's room so I'd have to fire somebody and then your third assistant is in charge of your practice which deals with player development offense and defense okay so you know you really have to pick and choose but you also have to look at uh, you look at the salaries here 32,000 17,000 13,000 you know, if if I get into paying assistants eighty and ninety thousand as much as I'm making, I'm not going to have any money left for recruiting. Okay, so just to, you know, um, now there are other coaches we could actually go in and try to hire a coach, and it will basically show you. All right, well let's say I want to get a guy that's really good in recruiting. All right, well there's the top guy, Jules Lavin. Well, he's going to want somewhere between seventeen and fifty-four thousand dollars. Oh, and I want a job preference for first assistant, sixteen to fifty thousand um, dollars. Now, I don't have a way to seventeen to fifty-four. Okay, it had changed when I clicked on clicked off of that. Um, you'd have to have the open position so you do have to fire somebody before you can make an offer so you know can I you know if I got him for 17 wow that would be great but what if he wants 50 you know what if he wants closer to 54 well you know that's more than you know two members of my staff combined um, you know I'd have to you know be very leery of that 
Alright, well we're going to go ahead and put a cut here. Um, usually when I do these, when I'm kind of going through some of the back stuff, it goes a lot slower. What I'm going to do uh, here between videos is I'm going to go ahead and finish adding my call list and making my decisions for the first week. And this is done by week, so it does drag out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make my changes at this point, and then we'll come back and uh, sim the week and then move ahead a little bit. Um, so this, the next few episodes probably will be uh, mostly dealing with recruiting, uh, for sure. Uh, and then we, uh, in fact, real quick, we can look at key dates. Um, this is only for recruiting, though, so... Um, there's your recruiting calendar. Um, we don't start playing until November, and that's about the time that the early letters of intent are done. So, you know, basically we sim one week at a time, and you have to rec do recruiting every week. Uh, so it will... Um, see, it, it tells me right here that you're supposed to be able to... add I wonder oh okay there you go that's cool okay so that's where the oh, just a heads up if you're on this screen where you're filtering alright so let's take this off real quick um, I need to update that. If you're on the, the big screen here, this is where you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So basically I can add people to my list. And you can also, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, you, can, you can add them to your list with the keyboard shortcuts and then go back to your call list once they're on there and then you can start doing the fine-tuning of your recruiting if you want to. A um, couple of things I'm thinking about. Uh, Juco, if you want to focus on Juco players, uh, I, I have read that Juco players and then transfer players are kind of a good way to pick up better players than you can probably recruit um, in general uh, to help your team out. And you notice some of the guys have GPA showing. And then some of the guys we have question marks for interest. Well, if we click on him, that's because he's in the base list. We don't see anything in the white magazine list. If we click on one of the guys with a GPA, Mason, for example. Well, no, that's not making sense. So I don't know why we have any information on him. Interesting. I don't know the answer to that. It's not what I thought it was. <laughs> uh, you know what that could be? He's the number three player in the country. And I probably, I don't have the national book, which is probably what gives me that. Um, this other guy is... No, nope, he's number one. So, okay, well, no rhyme or reason to that that I understand, at least not right now. So we'll just move on from that. Thanks for checking out the first video. And like I said, I'll go ahead and round out the recruiting for this week so you don't have to sit through all that. And we'll be back uh, next episode. Thanks a lot.